All right, I got so excited when I saw this was here because I didn't realize this was gonna be in yet, but I placed an order with Paper Artsy when they had, uh, just like, I don't know, two weeks ago, the very beginning of December, they had um, their sale. They don't have many sales, so when they do, I try and take advantage of it. So I kind of went, I figured if I'm going to be ordering from them, I need to make it a, a chunky order. So I got a few stencils. I got these two masks. And then I got this stencil. These are, uh, this is an Emma Godfrey stencil. PM009, and this is also an Emma Godfrey stencil, PM010, and this is uh, France Papillon, uh, Papillon uh, and it's PS333, and Joffe, PS139. I'm excited about this. This kind of reminds me of one of Dee Dee Catron's stencils. So I got these stencils and I got, had gotten um, some of their infusions the last time and I had gotten the one, I guess it wasn't an infusion, it was something else. It was like that rust, it does the rusting. And ever since I got it, I've been wanting to play with their infusion. So I got Rocky Road, Emerald Isle, Rusty Car, and Sunset Beach. So I'm really excited about playing with those and maybe um, we'll play with those sometime together. The other thing is they send their stuff wrapped in this tissue paper. Everything was wrapped in this tissue paper. It is gorgeous. I'm so excited about the tissue paper. I was just like, and then here, here's their logo on it. I was just, oh, look at this tissue paper. And there was a ton of it. So I also got some more of their chalk paint. I really love the colors that they have. And I've been wanting to explore some of the ones more on the purple end. So I got Wisteria and Mauve. I wanted to add to my blues. And I got Blue by You. And these are um, usually very opaque. You can They always have a little swatch. So here you can't see any of that coming through. Oh, very little bit there, kind of a little bit there, but these two are more, uh, are less opaque. Cherry Blossom and Sorbet. So the last time I had gotten some of the blues and some of their oranges. So this time I went pinks and purples and then added to my blue because it's a new thing for me to get into the blues. So that's what I got from Paper Artsy, but that's not, I also got... Okay, so that's what I got from Paper Artsy. And then I also added to my, I got two more of Dina Wakely's glossy sprays. Oh, this, these bags are gonna kill me. Um, I will transfer these into, I don't like the spray bottles. I'll transfer them into my squeegee bottles, but I got some more of the white because I'm almost out. And I've been wanting to try this syrup. This is more like a brown. Um, and I don't know if you could see, that's hard to see it, but it's like there kind of gives you an idea. It's syrup colored. So I got two more, uh, well, one more, and then replacing my white. And then I got some of the Distress Stains because I'm trying to get some of the ones that I don't have in the stains. I have all of these in the oxide, so I'm trying to add to it. And I've been going through and boxing them together and adding um, color tabs to the top. So I have the stain and then the oxide. Stain, oxide, stain, oxide, stain, oxide. Oxide. So I've been doing that lately, getting them up. So I will get these added um, to 
my other containers and get them labeled. I wanted to show you some of the things that I got at uh, for Christmas. Um, my daughter and son-in-law got me this swing line. This is the, I believe this is the, well, let's get a ruler out because I'm not positive. Um, I believe that this is the 15 inch. Yeah, because this is 12 inches. So this is the 15 inch swing line guillotine cutter. I have been wanting a guillotine uh, for quite a long time. I was very specific, specific about what I wanted and didn't want. I did not want one that you could not remove the blade and sharpen it. Um, so it was exciting. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on them and decided this is the one that I wanted to try out. It does have a locking latch down here for the blade and it also has the glow feature. Not sure about this, but when you raise it up and you can't see that. Um, can see that any better? Let me try putting a piece of paper in here and seeing if it shows it any better. <laughs> Not really. Can you see that? So this glows so you can see easily see where the edge of your paper is. Can you see how this is kind of light right here? That's because that light has been activated. You can kind of see it there when it turns off and on. So we'll see, we're gonna test the waters on this and see how much I like it. I'm excited about having per gotten it, um, especially as a gift, that was really cool. Um, so we'll see, it's supposed to be able to do 10 sheets of regular paper. Um, I'm sure that I'm gonna be putting it through uh, rigorous tests, that's for sure. So that's one of the art things that I got for the holiday. I also got some matte photo paper. Um, I've been wanting to do some experimentation with this paper, not for printing photos, but for doing using other mediums on it. Um, and I will, re will reveal more about that, but I really have been wanting to play with it. So that was really fun that I got some of the matte photo paper. Now, my brother-in-law got me the, these scissors. These are pretty exciting. These are incredibly strong scissors. They are supposed to be able to go through roofing materials, laminate, um, flooring, uh, root, uh, I said roofing, um, what else? I, there's a ton of them, I listed a ton of them. They are pretty heavy duty because he had seen me struggling with cutting down cardboard. So we're gonna put these through the rigors as well. And uh, I'm excited to dive into those. These were my stockings. And I have been needing some more of the um, blending foam pads. Um, I, I use them, I usually put one per color to have on hand. And I have, I was short, I had gotten some more of the mini ink pads and didn't have these to go in there. So these were my stocking. I've also run out of these very big uh, eyelets. These are the really large ones that I sometimes use for um, art journal binding. And I had run out of those. And so these were in my stocking. And uh, so that's good. I had I ran out of the gold. And this is gonna be super fun. I have a black and a brown and like this creamy color here. Um, but this is a pack of all these just awesome different waxy thread um, colors 
to use for book binding. So I'm excited to kind of explore those. So that is what I kind of got uh, art-wise for the holidays, and I just wanted to share it with you.